We'll talk about Triple H's comments at the end of Bad Blood. Let's talk about it. It was the first question that was asked to him when Triple H got on that podium. He was asked about representation and diversity in WWE and him giving equal opportunity to people of color and balancing opportunities across the spectrum. Here is what Triple H had to say, word for word, verbatim. I don't see the difference in anybody. I don't see color. Let me finish. I don't see color. I don't see the nationality. I don't see the difference between men and women. I don't see any of it. I see talent. We tell stories with those talent, how they can handle those stories and how they can represent those stories and how we can bring those stories forward. I don't keep track of any of that. I do what's relevant and what is best and what is being delivered the best. That's what goes. No different than the men and women who main events, whatever the biggest stories are, that's where we go. So let me clear this up really quickly. I'm seeing a lot of people as a result of him saying, I don't see color. He's a racist. He's a racist. No. Stop. Stop with that bullshit. Don't bring it here at least. Triple H is not a racist. I'm going to keep saying it until it gets in your thick skull. If Triple H was a racist, you wouldn't see any black or Hispanic people on television in prominent spots. Bianca Belair is literally their poster child right now. And you can't get any blacker than that. Jay Cargill and Bianca are tag team champs. Carmelo Hayes is all over the show. They're ambassador. The WWE ambassador is Tyus O'Neal, who is what? Exactly. He's black. Just because we don't have a black world champion doesn't mean that he hates black folk. That's stupid. Also, Jay Uso, part black. Guess what? He's the IC champion. I'm not trying to hear it. Keep that shit to yourself. I'm serious. He's not a racist. And don't just think it's a black issue. If you're a racist, you also hate Hispanics. Guess who's being pushed hard right now? Damian Priest. He is obsessed with Santos Escobar. Obsessed with him. And I still can't understand why he gives him so much TV time. He hasn't been giving him that much TV time lately, thank God. But that man used to get so much TV, and I'm like, something's off. It ain't working with him. If he was truly a racist, none of these men and women will be getting these opportunities. Period. Period. I'm not trying to hear it. He's not a racist. Now, let's talk about the comment. I don't like it. Me personally, I really don't like it when people say, I don't see color. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I'm colorblind. No, you're not. I know what you mean by that. I know what people mean when they say, we don't see color as in we treat everybody equally. Just say that. Just say that. I treat everybody equally despite your skin color. Thank you. Say that. When you say you don't see color, what you're really saying is, oh, so you don't see my issues. You don't see the struggles I go through as a black person. You don't see the degradation I went through, the segregation, the, the generations upon generations of struggles we went through in this country, not just, like, not just America, but across the world. Ladies and gentlemen, whether you want to admit it or not, racism exists. It does plague not just America, but the world. And it's not just blacks against whites. It's Asians. It's Hispanics. People are treated like garbage because of how they look on a daily basis, something they cannot control. And I really hate it when people act like that is not an issue. So for me, when Triple H said that, I, ugh, basically that, I groaned. I went, Jesus Christ. Who is preparing this man for this stuff? You have to 
you had to prepare these talents, even Triple H, for media because of questions like this. Who prepared him for this? I mean, didn't Triple H know that this question was coming? People have been calling him a racist for half a year now. Since he gave Cody the world title, they've been calling Cody, not Cody, uh, Triple H a racist. Why would they call Cody a racist? Cody's married to a black woman, and he listens to Tupac. <laughs> Cody can come to my cookout any day. I'm just saying. But no, like, getting back to Triple H, like, the rumors of him or the stories and talks of him being a racist have been going on for months now. So you would think he would have something prepared for that. If your answer to those talks is, I don't see color, you need to change it. You got to change that. That is not going to fly. I'm sorry. Just say you treat everybody equally despite their their race, their nationality, whether they're men or women. You don't look at you don't look at their skin color. You don't look at their gender. Like when he said, I see talent, that's good. Just say that. I judge people by their talent. Done. That's all you have to say. Because to me, the people who say I don't see color are the main ones that do. I'm going to say that again. The people who say, I don't see color, are the main ones that do. Don't say that. You see color. You see that I'm darker than you. And you probably know I don't get the same privileges and the same opportunities as you because the people who have the money prefer people who are light-skinned. Are we going to go there? Do you want me to go there here on this wrestling stream? Because I will, but I'm not. See what happens when you say stuff like that? It just opens the door into all this political talk, which we don't need. And so Triple H, Jesus Christ, he sucks at this. The more I see Triple H do media, the more I realize you're not good at this media stuff, are you? You're not very good at this at all. Maybe Cody should do it. Cody is perfect at this. Cody is so good at media. Oh, my God. I see why they made him a world champion. I see why he's all over the place and he's doing all these media appearances. John Cena, Cody, well, John Cena can say some stupid things too, but he's better at it than Triple H. John Cena, Cody Rhodes, Becky's really good at it. Becky is probably better at it than a lot of other people give her credit for. Uh, Seth is good at media. Roman is. You would need to go see Roman do a media scrum. Roman, believe it or not, is incredible at media. I've seen him do interviews on SportsCenter and ESPN with Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman, you already know, is like the king of media. He's, he's training all these other people to do. Maybe that's why Roman's so good, because he's working with Paul. Roman is so relatable and so cool. Like, you literally want to get a beer with this guy. I'm not saying you don't want to get a beer with Cody, but like with Roman, it feels like you're drinking beer with him when you hear him talk. And so there are certain people who just are good at it. Rhea's okay. Rhea's getting better more and more. Uh, Damian Priest is pretty good, you would think. Uh, believe it or not, Santos Escobar is not that bad either, which is why Triple H loves him so much because he's good at media, but he sucks at everything else. Ugh. Um, Sorry, I don't like Santos Escobar. I just don't like him. But you would think with all these other people being as good, Triple H would get better at it. He's not great. Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels is better at media than Triple H is. Well, I would think. <laughs> Shawn at one point was the head, like the top baby face in wrestling for, what, decades? You would think he'd be good at media. Uh, Austin, Stone Cold Steve Austin was pretty good. He was pretty good. I wouldn't say he was great. The Rock is excellent. Of course he is. Um, there are certain people who are good at it, and then there are those that you know are just not. Triple H just feels like the kind of person that he means well. You know he has a good heart. You know he cares. But when you hear statements like this, I don't see color. I'm colorblind. What color are you? Orange, black, red? No. You know I'm brown. God damn it. Just, just, just say 
you don't judge people by their skin color. You judge people by their talent. Just saying. Just saying. I love Triple H. I don't think he's a racist. I mean, reiterate that. Stop calling him a racist. This is an incident where he just sucks at media. (laughs) This is one of those questions where I'm like, dude, do better at your job. You are the head of WWE. What you say carries more weight than anybody. Get better at media, period. Got someone in the live chat giving me a hard time. Big boss, you better respect Triple H. You better respect the game or else. Buddy, calm down. Relax. Triple H has single-handedly saved the WWE from Vince McMahon. It is a hundred times better than it ever could possibly have been at events. So just because I'm criticizing him doesn't mean I hate him. Calm down, man. It's not that big of a deal. Triple H is a big boy. He can take criticism. 